Hello everyone and welcome here. Um, I just want to say hello to everyone and you're probably going to notice my voice is a little bit funny is because I still have a little bit of a problem with my voice. I had to actually cancel Tuesday, but I'm here now. I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and to say hi to everybody and to let you know that I'm still alive and well. And uh, hi, everyone. How is everybody doing? And I'm going to be inviting you to come and talk here tonight because I'm going to tell you, you probably do a lot more talking than I am because I have a little bit of crew of all things. Can you believe that? And uh, I didn't know that adults can get croup, but guess what? We can. And so I'm really excited to be here. I decorated the place a little bit and I thought I'd make it all nice and cozy. All you need is your hot chocolate and to come and say hi. And I am going to paste a link here, guys. Here we go. I'm going to paste this link and make sure that you come and visit me. I'm so excited to be here. And as you're coming on, come and say hi. And so can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi, Gail. I'm so happy to see everybody. Oh my God, and if you wanna join me, here is the link, guys. And I'm a little bit croaky, um, so I have my fresca, and I'm just, I'm having this. You're gonna notice that I didn't put on a whole bunch of eye makeup. Like I normally do the big cat eyes, so it's a la natural. And <laughs> so I'm really happy to see everybody. Hi, Amelia. How you doing? Oh, my God. Did you have croup too? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I do. You know what happens? All of a sudden, nothing comes out. I mean, you try to talk, nothing comes out. My doctor told me to shut up for a week. And here I'm talking, but it's really nice to see everybody. And I missed you guys, but I really kind of felt crappy for about a week. And so I had to cancel a lot of my appointments. And uh, I'm okay, though, sweetie. I had to cancel a lot of my appointments, but good. You can hear me clearly. But I'm really happy to be here. Do you like my little red snowflakes, guys? Oh, my God. You, can, you know, I love the little red snowflakes. There were all kinds of different ones I could have chosen, but actually my top has red sparkles in it and I'm wearing red lipstick. So I thought, you know what? Oh my God, that's terrible. 12 days of being sick. That's not the 12 days of Christmas. That's for freaking sure. But Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm excited. Um, I don't know. I had all these pictures and everything all set up uh, for this. And all of a sudden, they're all gone. So I don't know what happened. But I'm really super excited that you guys are here tonight. I'm so happy. Um, you know, I'm so sorry that I missed Tuesday, but I'm so happy that I'm here tonight. And uh, it's just, oh, hi, Adriana. It's just so nice to see everybody. Oh, thank you. Even with all my eyeliner. I didn't wear any eyeliner today um, because I thought I'd give my eyeballs a break. <laughs> but anyways, oh, your daughter's sick. Oh, my God. Well, I hope they find out what's going on with her. Uh, they found out real quick what was going on with me. I'm going to tell you that. Oh, my goodness. But, guys, I am just – oh, hi, Ricardo. Look, we have matching bracelets. I am wearing my Earth Zen bracelets tonight, and I absolutely love – Love them, and um, I just I just love these. But they sold out. Can you believe it? So I am designing another bracelet. It's going to be very special. I'm going to make them so that they can stack. Because with my Earth Zen, actually, and I don't know if you know this, Ricardo, but I can actually, you know, just kind of like stack them, and I love that. And it's just so beautiful with a little stone in the middle. But yeah, now I want to wear all three of them. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Even though it's purple, it's still beautiful. But anyways, it's nice to see you, Ricardo. Merry Christmas to you and to your family. And I hope your wife is feeling better. And if she's there, please tell her I said hi. It's just so nice to see everybody. And uh, I try, you know, I try. Like I have no, barely no eye makeup. On, just a little bit of eyeshadow. And then I did the mascara thing. Who? Who's your doctor? I'm not telling you, Buffy, because he's a really nice guy. Oh, thank you about the bracelets. I absolutely love them. But guys, 
I'm just on here to say hi to everybody. Please come and say hi to me. Hi, Marie from Mississauga. It's nice. It's nice to see everybody. Um, so here, I'm going to come and get Chantal on. And guys, as you are, here we go. As you guys are looking at this, if you have, let me see here. I'm going to show this. If you have um, headset, I don't have one. But if you have one and if you have um, a Chrome browser, just paste this link and come and see me. It'd be so freaking nice to see you. So really excited to just say hi to everybody. And I'm just chatting with everyone and just having a good time. It's Christmas, time to let loose. I thought I'd come and say hi before I lose my voice. Hi, Marianne. So please come and join me at that link. I'm going to paste it again down there. So guys, I'm going to paste it a couple times. I don't know how it's going to show up, but here, I'm going to paste it three times. So Chrome browser, headset, or earbuds, okay, guys? So yay. So and I'd really like to see you. Um, to let you know right now, yay, I am, you know, selling gift certificates for Christmas, so telephone sessions and in-person or webcam sessions. So it doesn't matter if you're in Toronto. It doesn't matter if you're in, like, wherever you are. It doesn't matter. So um, just to let you know, I am so excited. You just have to go to mediumjlane.com and check it out. Now, I am excited too, just to let you know, guys, I don't know if you know this, but I'm using this really great platform called Be Live, and I love it. This is actually what you're seeing me broadcast from now. And it's nice because I put those snowflakes, I can make the lettering in red, I can make it in blue, I can make it in purple, I can have my logo, I can do anything I want. But what's really great, I just saw a show, I think it was in Tennessee, where they're using this platform um, to uh, in, for adoptions of animals. So they have all these different areas and people that have, um, you know, foster homes for dogs and they're adopting them out. And so the lady is the host of the show and she gets all these guests in like I do, but they're with animals and they get homes for animals. There's this other guy, he's really super popular and he does health. He does a health um, sort of like chat about nutrition and everything else, which is really awesome. And so, hey, Timmons, I'm coming to Timmons in April. I'm kind of excited. But guys, I don't know if you know this, but I am going to be in Blind River uh, for Valentine's Day, well, not for Valentine's Day, February 9th at Rusty's Cafe. And if you don't already have a ticket, you might want to get one because I heard they're selling like freaking hotcakes. So they're going to go really, really fast. So just let you know. But coming back to this, I love Be Live because Be Live allows me to be able to get people in and talk to them and that. And I'm offering you a 30 day free trial if you sign under my name so just to let you know that but i love this platform otherwise it wouldn't even bother but you can do jewelry from this you can do makeup you can have guests on you can put on your makeup i mean there are so many things you can do you can sell your your products you could sell your bracelets you, whatever you want it's just really quite amazing so and they're coming out with all kinds of stuff they have training but i'm going to tell you it's super easy to use if i can do it anyone could do it so interested let me know or just just go there actually you don't have to let me know because i don't really deal with that part of it i let the experts deal with that part of it so chantel is coming to say hi to me oh, hi, chantel. hello merry christmas beautiful merry, yeah merry christmas to you too how you doing oh i'm still sick but i'm i'm getting there you too huh yeah i got that cold going on 12 days oh. now so yeah, I thought I had a cold too. I really did. And the doctor said, no, Jay, you don't have a cold. You just have group. And it's like, oh, my God. But uh, I, I had no clue. Like I said, adults can get that, you know. Oh, yay, we got more people coming on, so we're going to have a party. Yes. Um, <laughs> so are you all done for your Christmas uh, shopping and all that stuff? I'm all done now. just have a few baking things left to do, and that's about it. Oh, that's not too bad, then, you know. I yes. think I'm pretty well done, too. I'm kind of uh, tired. There's Sarah. Look how cute she is back there. <laughs> I've got someone else that just popped in. But, guys, yes. it's so nice to see everybody. Do you see the comments from where you are? 
Uh, no, I haven't. I can't oh, see any comments. No. Oh, you can't see the comments. There's all kinds no. of people. Look at that. There's all kinds of people dropping in to say hi. So where are you? Where are you? I'm in Pembroke. Oh, in Pembroke. That's right. Where the Felder yes. are that I picked illegally. Yes. In the 70s and my dad kicked my ass. Yes. <laughs> I remember that. I almost did that this summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to watch. It's like a huge yeah. find, right? And I had picked yeah. about 10 of them. My father, I thought, was going to have a heart. <laughs> oh, you know, my God. He's <laughs> like, what? What's going on? No, not those cards. Yeah. But anyways, I don't know if you're French, but that means Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, we're so Canadian, we could talk like that. Yes, that's true. You know, that's one of the things I talk about in some of my shows is like, can I say this? Can I say that? And everybody in the audience probably swears more than I do, you know, but maybe not. But um, yeah, for a race like that, my dad, every second word was the F bomb. What about you? I'm a sailor. I have a bad mouth. Yeah. Most I've people are like sailors. The, that since a kid. That's right. <laughs> and it's, it's acceptable. You know, except for when you go it to the general public. I'm not going to sit there and swear in front of my clients. But honestly, sometimes, you know, the odd one does come out. But they seem to be really accepting and you thank freaking God. You know, so that's good. Well, I want to thank you so much for dropping in thank today. Thank you. I always uh, look forward to you. I'm trying to get other people to talk instead of me today. Yes. So I'm going to go get Sarah. Oh, her. thank you. Well, listen, honey, Merry Christmas. Merry to Christmas you. to you and yours. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my God. It's just so nice to see. Okay, so Sarah. Oh, I can't even say. So, Sarah, how you doing? Hi. I am so excited. Hey. <laughs> I, so hope, I, I hope Michael's watching. Who? Michael, um, the makeup artist. Oh, we work Michael. together. I love Michael. Michael and I went out for pizza at the brick. We went with Gil Grand and with uh, Mel, his his wife. Gil. Oh. And it was beautiful. I had been in Tennessee maybe three, four days. And it was just a really amazing experience. And, you know, I just, we just actually, um, you know, Michael knew him a lot better than I did. But do, do you know Jared who passed away? Jared Keys? I've heard of him, but I have not, never met him. I cried for three days, you know, but Jared was a sweetheart. And I met Jared and I probably already told everybody this story, but it was 4.30 in the morning and I was going to do a um, TV shoot for uh, Nan Kelly with Nan Kelly, One Pan Nan. Mm -hmm. And Jared had, you know, um, I guess Melissa had made some arrangements for Jared to come and do my makeup. And I didn't even know who this guy. All I knew is Jared's coming over at 4.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. And 4.30 a.m. is like 3.30 a.m. for me because there's a time difference, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So here I open the door and Jared's got these two big cases of makeup. So he sits me, girl, sit on that toilet. So he sits <laughs> me on the toilet and he just just starts like just fussing over people you just watch. But I fell in love with him, and right away we clicked. We had such a great day, and we became friends, and we clicked and everything else. And the second time I went to Nashville, um, Melissa had actually invited him and his dog, um, Franklin, uh, for, for lunch. And so he picked me up and gave me the biggest Nashville hug. I thought my eye oh. off right out of my head, but he uh, was just amazing, amazing soul. And mm. I really was living the Jesus out of him. The guy could dance. Okay. It's just, <laughs> and, and he was a makeup artist, um, you know, just like Michael. So, how'd you know Michael? Well, we work together at, um, oh. at where he works. So, yeah, I, oh, oh, I work in cosmetics, too. I don't look like it today, of course. Oh, <laughs> but oh, you surprised me tonight. Don't, don't worry. If I look how pale I am. Like People oh. say I look like porcelain type thing. but um, No, but Michael's awesome, and we become friends. Yeah. We haven't kept in touch too much, but we have more or less lately. It's just he was busy, I was busy, you know, and we're always checking each other's Twitters and stuff. I love, I love, love oh. him. Awesome yes. guy. You know, what you see is what you get with him. He is very, um, very grounded. I just love him, you know? Yes. So he's very yes. spiritual. So I kind of very like spiritual, him. very kind. And yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just a good guy. He's just, you know, there's something special about him, you know? But yeah, I yes. just, 
I just missing so many of my friends. I had uh, Sharon also, um, Eves, who passed away a couple years ago. Mm. And uh, I loved her, you know, we we had connected and she was actually helping me with my fan site. And she actually, I believe, uh, was working on, she worked for Keith Urban, I think, and for, okay. um, uh, who the hell else was, um, oh, what's that guy's name? I'm not a country girl, it's not terrible, but I love people. Um, what was it? Keith Urban, and the other guy was Hank, Williams Jr. I think yeah. Was, yeah. So she did their website stuff and promos. So like I had a real pro on my hands, but she passed away very, very suddenly in mm -hmm. her charity. So I miss her too. So now I'm talking. So tell me a little bit about yourself, sweetie. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm in a transition time of my life. I've always been a full time working hard, very, uh, responsible young lady and <laughs> just working, 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 working. And I've taken a step back into working just two part-time jobs and relaxing. Oh which yeah. It's been a whole new world for me in the last year or so. Oh. It's been allowing myself to relax and not always have to get better and move up another step and get promoted and keep going and keep going. Cause that's the kind of person I am. And it's, uh, you put a lot of pressure on yourself too, you know. I was in a dead end job. I loved, I loved the people I worked with, but it really wasn't what I wanted to do. And actually, I had to do it because it was a medically accommodated position. Mm -hmm. And um, I used to go into work every day, like almost in tears, because I hated it so much. You know, I just hated it. And yeah. hate is a strong word, but I mean, I sit my cubicle like just wanted to break out, but. I'm thankful for that because that was the fire under my ass that I needed to leave that place because yes. I couldn't get a job anywhere because of my, you know, because of what happened to me at work. And so I couldn't transfer very easily. It would have had to have been in the same type of medically accommodated position. So I said, screw it, you know, and I quit my job right after my mother passed. Not a good thing to do. And um, I started doing this and I haven't looked back, but this is mm -hmm. And I didn't intend it to grow like that quickly, but it did. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. And, you know, I'm lucky because um, Gil, I don't know if you know Gil Grant. He's an amazing singer. He no, I do not know him. He's been traveling internationally. He's been doing the Conway Twitty show. He's really great. But he's my second cousin. So my mother's brother's daughter's son. So he's my second cousin. Okay. <laughs> but, um, we've, I've met him when he was four, but then I didn't, I didn't see him for years. My mother was a big fan of his, of course, she loves country music. And um, so, you know, long story short, uh, you know, we connected, you know, about five years ago, four years, five years ago, and we worked together for about, you know, maybe close to two years. And it was a really great experience for him and I, you know, to mm -hmm. like, and it was kind of good that we didn't know each other too well because apparently you're not supposed to work with relatives but you know it was a great experience for me and uh, yeah thank goodness I, we're still friends yeah but no um, awesome artist and I think those were really his roots but he really introduced me to so many people you know um, I just so and and so many great friends I've made as a result of that one is Michael so that's yeah he's amazing he's a wonderful yeah. And I got to meet her. Well, I didn't meet her, but I saw his very pregnant daughter. He's about to be a grandpa for the oh, first time. I didn't know if you knew that. <laughs> I yeah, I remember him talking mm -hmm. about her. Yeah. 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 So he's happy. Oh, ever nice. Well, tell him I sent him great big hugs. And oh, uh, well. yeah, but it's nice to see you. Are you in the Brentwood area? Actually, I am in West Nashville, which is West. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's a kind of everybody drives like crazy nuts over there. I mean, I thought Toronto or New York City was bad. New York, <laughs> the Turnpike is nothing compared to Nashville. No. Like, oh no, it's bad. You guys yes. drive 150 miles an hour this far apart. Like I mean, and then when the police stop you. You stop in the middle of the freaking lane. We in Canada, we pull off to the side of the road. 
Yes. And people stop. No, no, I got to stop right here. There are like hell. I'm not going anywhere. You know, yes. it's like, really? You're getting stopped here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm stopping right here. That's where I'm staying. You know? And if it snows, they, they just park their cars in the middle of the road and start walking. Yeah, and the road. and like you're there. on the freeway and it's like, holy shit. There's a car. You're going 150 miles an hour. Jesus Christ. Yes. My yeah. Friend. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. see. I mean, I watch like I'm Gil. I'm with Gil. I'm going Gil, 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 Gil. He goes, what? Drive, drive, fuck, drive, 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 drive. That's exactly what I said. He goes, okay, okay. He just guns it, okay? Goes around. There's a transport that's coming behind us. I'm watching, okay? Hits, and, and anyways, he hits the guy that was behind us, but I knew we were going to get it. But we just missed by being in a huge rear ender accident. Huge. But I mean, I was like, move it. And I, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so anyways. I learned to drive in upstate New York. So my dad used to take me out in the snow at six o'clock on a Saturday morning and say, okay, Sarah, slam on the brakes, slam on the gas. So he was awesome and teaching me the New York way how to drive. So, you know. Listen, I was stuck. <laughs> I was stuck on the Verrazano Bridge. Okay. It goes mm -hmm. like this. I mean, you yes. are negative. Okay. Okay. Between transports, I was in a 2003 Honda Civic standard at Rush Hour. <laughs> My legs were so sore for an hour. Oh. I've got the clutch. And I'm just waiting. And like you're inching your way up, right? And, um, uh -huh. But anyways, let me tell you, if you can drive in Jersey, you can drive anywhere. Yeah. It'll, all it'll the jug be, handles. Pardon? The jug handles and all the crazy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's crazy there. You know? Wow. But anyways, mm -hmm. so are you from Tennessee, too? No, upstate New York. I was born in Syracuse and then the Albany area. I've been to Syracuse and Albany. It's beautiful up there. Oh, it, it is. It is. I've been 24 years here now, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to go back or not. But. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have one of my BFFs is in um, Upper Manhattan, and uh, she just finished recording with Steve Hackett, and I was just so excited for her. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, from Genesis, you know. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I love Steve Hackett. But uh, I'm supposed to go see her, God knows when. I'm hoping. Um, but I have such a busy tour schedule. I'm hoping to go to New York. I, I really want to go for about a week just, just to take sure. a holiday. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I, can't I have to get out my New York accent. Like You do. Time. Yeah, and then you'll have to come down here to Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, I could do like I, I could talk like sound like no problem, darling. I can do that, no problem. But, but the problem I have is <laughs> problem I have is with New York because sometimes it's just a bad Frenchman with an Italian accent, really, is what it is. So what's going on over there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about here. Yeah, well, yes, but, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> but I haven't spoken my New York in a long time. But you know, my, my friend is from New York and she doesn't speak like that at all. She speaks very proper. But she's from California. She's from LA. So yeah. 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 I, so the proper English. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I've lost it. Pardon? I've lost the New York, but it, yeah. it comes out occasionally, especially yeah. when I talk to friends from there. So. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm really happy you came on. I got some other people Yay. I'm going to say hi to. But anyways, you Absolutely. take care, sweetie. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Big hug, sweetie. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So let me go see who I'm going to go get. Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. So where are you? I'm just at my house. <laughs> and where's your house? In Azilda. Oh, you're, you're a Sudbury girl. Yes, I am. Oh, yay, yay. Well, anyways, I am so happy to be here tonight. You know, I was feeling like a big pile of poo on Tuesday. I'm going to tell you that. But anyways, guys, share this post so everybody can come and say hi. Probably everybody's out shopping and then partying for Christmas. <laughs> but anyways, are you all ready? Yes. Yes, yeah. I am. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that you are. Well, that's good. That's good. Are you making the big meal? Yes. Oh, uh, I was hoping to get out of it, but uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to have my sister over. So I think it's going to be really nice. And so I'm kind of looking forward to it. And I spoiled the living shit out of her this year. So I'm kind of happy about that. And uh, I come up with this little croupy thing. So no more, no, not too fun for me. But I'm feeling a lot better, though. Thank God for that, you know. <clears throat> so he, he has been says I sound like a little frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what have you been up to? Not too much. Work, no? not work. <laughs> to, to working too much? Yes. <laughs> uh, we had a shitty storm yesterday, huh? Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, my God. The roads were bad. There were a couple accidents here and there, but it was like glare ice. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I had to take my sister out to the optometrist, but, oh, my God, it was terrible. I'm going to go see here. Trista's here, too. Hang on. We're going to move you over for a sec. Hi, Trista. Hi, Jay. How are you? Good. How are you? You know what? I'm feeling better. Thanks for asking. I still have Good. a hoarse throat, you know, yeah. but, but it's coming along. It's coming along. I should be ready to go back to work next week. So, yay. And That's I just good. started wearing makeup today. So I have had no makeup on all week. So it kind of did some good a little bit, you know, just to kind of like sweat it out and do all that. I lost about five pounds, but not too much. I think just fluids. You know, holy moly. Yeah. Hard work. Just sweat a lot on this. Well, uh, you know, and you're not hungry at all. You just don't, because your throat's all swollen. You just don't really have an appetite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys haven't had the flu. Where are you from, Trista? Uh, Wubwood. Oh, wow. I love it out there. It's so nice. They got a great ice cream stand out there. Yes. Oh, 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 it's really good. Do they still have that funky little shop? Beside the ice cream stand? I'm not too sure. He used to have a place where they sold funky little things, you know, little touristy things, you know? I haven't oh. seen it. Oh, okay. It was on the left-hand side when you're driving towards, uh, like, past Webwood. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so are you ready for Christmas? Yes. Yeah. You are, eh? All uh, right. Did you guys, did you guys make tortilla? Sorry? Tortilla? Like meat pie? No. no. You don't, don't do that? that. No. 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 Do you do meat pie, tortilla? Do make them, but not for Christmas. Uh, for okay. Good. What about you, Kim? I had to go search all over Sudbury today for them. <laughs> yeah, they're hard to find, you know? Yeah. You know who makes a really good meat pie is Leslie's Grill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. So they have good everything. I love <laughs> Leslie. She's like, I love her. She's a really good person and she's got a big, big heart of gold and she's always got a big smile no matter what, always has a big smile and her staff's amazing. I think she's closed for the winter. I'm not sure though. So don't quote me on that. Um, but when she advertised her meat pies, go buy them all. Okay. Cause I'm telling you, they go fast. But they're amazing. And that's the one on Notre Dame. You know what I'm talking about, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Leslie's Girls, the best food in town. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, so I do that once or twice a year, you know. And uh, But it's so amazing. I love it there. Oh, it's one of my favorite little snack shops. So, yes. <laughs> you find all my guilty spots. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yes. So I am going to go by. Kim, I want to say goodbye to you, sweetheart. I want to thank you so much for coming by. Have a Merry Christmas. Same to you, darling. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, and Trista, you're doing well? Yes. Yeah. Good, good, good. I'm so happy. Did someone break a tooth? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, no. Or uh, my mom's dentures broke. Okay, yeah, because I got broken teeth around you. And if it's her dentures, she must yeah. have been really pissed off about it. She was. She wouldn't yeah. leave the house. <laughs> I really hear someone around you. I don't know who the hell it is, but it doesn't show up. Probably my stepdad. Well, it's whoever. He's around whoever has broken teeth. When yeah, did she do that, anyways? 
a couple weeks ago. And also my grandpa has a missing tooth on his dentures too. Yeah. Uh, but they make me feel like a broken, so something's broken and I'm pissed off, like, you know? Yeah, so that must be, uh, yeah. That would be my mom. Yeah. Is there some in April, too? Um, April it would be my daughter, and my stepdad also passed away in April. That's him, then. It's just because I'm seeing April, and if that's him, it would be. What date do you remember? April 30th is when he passed, uh, oh. three years ago. Oh, okay. What happened to him? It doesn't show me how he died. Um, asthma attack. Oh, that yeah. sucks. Yes. My mom uh, actually found him. Oh, so that's like truck. a couple of broken teeth. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, hey. Dude, yeah. Who has the rash? Rash? Yeah. Um, my kids have eczema and I have eczema. Um. I'm not Is sure. Is broken out a little bit more? Because I see like really red skin. So just watch, but they make me feel like there's a breakout rash or something. Okay. Or red, okay. Yeah. And it like it's it's almost like it doesn't respond to something, you know? It doesn't respond to medication unless that's already happened. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know what else I'm seeing is, you know that rigatoni? You know the wider rigatoni noodles? Yes. I'm seeing that. Uh, my dad used to make, um, my stepdad used to make uh, chicken capoletti with that. Um, with rigatonis? Yes. What did he call it? I don't think chicken capoletti is the name. Uh, it was like a spicy pasta that he used to make out of chicken but, with it. But it's those wider, like, you know what I mean? Like a rigatoni, you know? Yeah. Yeah, someone showed me that. That's him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay, because he showed me rigatonis. Wow, that's amazing. Does someone still make his recipe, I wonder? Yes, I do. Do you? Maybe that's why he's talking about the rigatoni. Yeah, and I actually just made, uh, he makes mini pizzas all, the, well, used to make mini pizzas all the time, and I actually just got finished making those. Oh, uh, okay, so he must be yeah. around you. Yeah. He must be around you, huh? Um, did you have to throw out like some stale crackers? Just, just like the maybe like within the last three, four days, and just either that or pretzels. I'm always cleaning out the cupboards, um, and I probably did throw out crackers. Yes. Yeah, it is just really, really stale, or they were like they're open, but it doesn't look like many of the crackers were eaten. It no. Almost looks like they're like all there but like maybe someone just grabbed one never closed the bag and then they all went stale but it made me feel like yeah. I served a lot of it you know what I yeah. mean yeah. yeah so you had visitors sorry about that I wasn't thinking I was gonna read but this one's biting like crazy <laughs> you like you know what I mean did you are yeah. you the one that just bought the two auto max tickets uh, uh I, yes we two of them yeah 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 it's just like I see these two tickets. Oh, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But one doesn't have an encore on it. Uh, we bought, my mom buys lottery tickets all the time. Um, we just bought one, but she probably has two. I don't doubt it. But there's one without the encore number on it. We have the encore one. I will have to ask my mom if she did not get the encore. There's one. It looks like there's no number at the bottom not inscribed or something or not some, I'm seeing not on the ticket okay okay but they just make me feel someone bought two tickets okay so if that's her because like if I buy I just buy one ticket I want this no my thing. mom will buy like multiple tickets yeah someone must have bought the great big freaking ticket too like a great big it looks like a half a page for Christ's sake it's you <laughs> So anyways, maybe you're getting that as a stocking stuff or I should shut up now. <laughs> I just want to ask you, I just, just one more quick question before sure. I let you go. Is there an infinity sign around you? Like, I have one. I have a tattoo. Yes, I ha I'm wearing one on my finger. My husband bought me a ring. Let me see it because they're talking about the infinity sign on you. Like, it, either jewelry. Hang on. Can you oh, see it? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, so you have someone right beside you right now. Oh, 
Because they're talking about having the infinity on them. And the thing is, I know I have it on me and I'm already surrounded, but you have to have infinity on you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And salt and vinegar chips, eh? Salt and vinegar chips? Yeah. You're going like this. So someone's eating too many salt and vinegar chips. If not, it's still pickle, honey. Okay. okay. Yeah. So just watch around that. I don't know what they're talking about, but it's close to you. Just watch. Okay. Unless it's just, you know, when you eat so many of them, your tongue kind of goes yucky. Yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for being on. Tell your mom. Thank you. I will. Let her, yeah, let her know he's around Mr. April. I will for sure. <laughs> Take care. Merry Christmas, sweetie. You too. Take care. Get Bye. better. I will. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Hey, Mel. I'm going to go get Mel. What's going on over here? Hey, Mel. Hey, how's it going? Any better than be twins. What about you? <laughs> Not too bad. Just doing yeah. laundry. Yeah. You, oh, I did that. You know what? I already did that. Oh, but you know what? Brad fools it all. I've been very lucky. He's so helpful. Thank you, God. Yeah. It's like mommy made. He's OCD, right? Yeah. So, like, nothing could be out of place. No, seriously. The other day, I take out a glass of juice. I drink it. I just put it down because that's going to get more. The glass was already emptied, washed, wiped, and put back in the cupboard. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, me too. It's God. <laughs> okay. So, Brad. Yeah. So I said to him, where's my glass? What glass? I said, the glass that was just there. I said, Speedy Gonzalez, when I've taken it and already put it in a washing machine or like in the dishwasher. He goes, no, no, it's already in the cupboard. So I take it with thoughtless, right? I mean, I could I could put on my makeup in that glass, like it's so cool, right? <laughs> He's hilarious. So I, I laugh at that. I really do. But anyways, I just love him. <laughs> but anyways, where are you from? Uh Tim, well, from Sudbury actually, but I live in yeah. Timmins now, yeah. In Timmins, yeah. I've been oh, here wow, for six right? years, yeah. It, it's supposed to be freaking cold there. Mine is 28 or something tonight. Yeah, Tim. it's pretty chilly yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 so where you got cheese girl yeah Maybe. it's gonna be minus 25 here in old Sudbury Ontario yes my American friends minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit is the same thing as Celsius yeah so it's freaking cold yeah the walls crack bang you know when it when the bricks you know, all get cold and everything you ever get that oh yeah Especially oh, like yeah. about minus 40 minus 48 yeah, when you breathe and your nose is frozen, yeah. It's so yeah, and your nose hair, and then your nose yeah. stays stuck like that. Yeah, yeah. it tries to nuts too. I know. Yeah. Or you have to wear a scarf and just your eyes are peeking out. Yeah, yeah, I refuse I'm to wear glasses. Pardon? I, said, I refuse to wear glasses when it's that cold. So you go inside oh, no. and just walk. It's, yeah. it's too painful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's too cold. I mean, you know, you get frostbite from your glasses. Yeah. I used to, like, I was an idiot when I was a kid. You know, I used to go and think when we were kids, right? Got a little cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, with frozen yeah. hair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then you develop arthritis when you're in your 50s and then you wonder why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you were an idiot when you were a kid. That's why. <laughs> you don't be an idiot like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so you doing good? Are you all finished your shopping and stuff? We finished today, yeah. So I gotta start really? wrapping everything now, but yeah, huh? we're we're good. Your Sears is closed. Oh my god. Like yeah. where the hell do you shop? Well, we have other places or online. I do a lot of online shopping too. Mind you, your yeah. shoe store, which one is it? Soft mock? I think that one closed. It's nicer too. than our soft mock. Oh yeah. Our soft mock. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I go shopping for shoes in Timmins. Hello. I don't go to North Bay. I go to Timmins. Oh and I go to Timmins like once a year, right? Yeah. 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 I'm going there again in April. I'm going to be doing a show at Seaman Meadows. I'll be going. That's for sure. That's what I've been oh, I'm for, yeah. excited. I can't wait. I want the world to know. It's, it's going to be really awesome. I'm doing, I'm starting my tour with Timmins. So I'm going to be doing a, you know, the Northern run, but I'm kind of excited because I love the people out there, but I'm going to Shaflo yes. and uh, after Timmins and then I'm going to Wawa nice. and then, uh, yeah, because uh, Jam FM is going to be sponsoring the Wawa and the Shaflo show. And then I'm going to Sault Ste. Marie at the Quattro nice. and the Quattro is supposed to be freaking nice too. Yeah. 
So I'm excited trying something different. I have a, a, a great assistant now who really helps me out a lot. So yay. So I'm kind of uh, kind of excited about it. Yeah. yeah. So soft or is it still open and timid? It's what's still open? Yeah, yeah. soft box is still open. Don't worry, Joanne. Joanne's going, oh, no, is it closed? No, I'm just saying ours in Sudbury is not as nice as the one. And it's not that it sucks because it doesn't suck. It's really a nice soft mock. We have a beautiful store here. It's just not as big. Yours is like twice the size, mm -hmm. and I like it. So Nancy always comes in and meets me. We go, uh, I stay at Nancy's usually because she's so amazing. And uh, we go shopping, but we go to soft mock all the time. And then we go to the Chateau. And uh, you know what? I had a pedicure in your mall. It was awesome. I was really shocked. Best pedicure I think I've ever had is in Dimmons. Yeah. yeah. They do a good job. Another salon called Beautiful You um, Aesthetics too. They do a really good job. I think they're by appointment only, but they're uh, they're great there too. A lot of great girls. Yeah. I, well, I was surprised. I mean, I, I I don't have time to make appointments. I usually go out for lunch or dinner with friends. Busy girl. And most, yeah, and most of the time I'm working all day, and you know I'm always working. <laughs> when am I not freaking working? But yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I'm kind of excited. So I'm going to do that tour. I'm going to Bracebridge too, actually. I'm kind of excited on March 8th, and I'm going to be in Blind River on February 9th. And I think in Ottawa at the end of April, I'm not sure yet. I haven't heard. It's supposed to be confirmed. Um, and then in September, uh, Toronto and, and Ottawa again in Sudbury. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome year. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited. Look, like more people coming on. Yay. But anyways, you're just beautiful. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on, Mel. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice to see you. Uh, we'll see you in April when you come up. Oh, I can't freaking wait. There's going to be a meet and greet after. We're going to have some fun. Good, for sure. Hey, it's going to be a show. Not a, not a, you know. And so tickets should be on sale in January, starting in January. So take care, sweetie. Yes, thanks. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> You guys are so awesome. It's just nice to see everybody. And I'm just going to grab people. I'm going to go get Taylor. Yay, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hello. Look how cute you are. I love your tree. Look how nice and shiny that is. Thank you. Christmas. See all, all your lights off and you've got that going or what? I have a little light on. <laughs> oh, that's nice, though. It's so beautiful. I Thank love you. Tree. Yeah. I love twinkling trees. My tree is the same every year. I put a garbage bag on it, December 26th, and I put it downstairs, and on the 23rd, we take it up, we take the garbage bag off. Oh, I'm wow. sure I just don't have time. This is my life. and Busy, I'm busy. Like, yeah, when I went to Canadian Tire, did I show you, did you see the pictures on Instagram? I did, I saw yes. This trip, right? Then I saw the price tag, and my mouth just went, like this. <laughs> $1,599. I'm thinking there are kids starving in this city. That's and insane. Freaking dollars on the trip. I can't afford that. I'm thinking, <laughs> my God. Not that I can't afford it. I guess I could afford it. But the thing is, who would want to spend that much on a tree? Not me. Not me. <laughs> That's a lot of freaking money. So I'm thinking, no, I'd rather give like, I'd rather give that $1,500 to charity. Or I'd rather give it to, you know, I'd just rather just give it to the food bank or something. Than, yeah, for yeah. sure. So uh, needless to say, my tree is like, <laughs> it's <laughs> terrible. It's, I, you know why I bought it? Because I already had lights in it because I didn't have to do it. <laughs> One of these days someone's going to come and decorate me a tree, I think. Oh, my God. Brad, Brad is, uh, I haven't, I don't know, Brad's just not. When to decorate you would I don't think you'd know what to do. Again, this is like <laughs> here. This is an OCD. Every everything would have to be placed like exactly like three inches apart or something. Oh, I couldn't handle it. I think I'd like I think I'd go like yeah. I think I'd go crazy. So are you all ready? Did you buy all your gifts? Oh yes, oh, I've been yeah. ready for a little while now. Good girl. Yeah. All set. Can I ask you something stupid? Yeah. Yeah. And you know that toffee fake? Like they're like little cups. 
And then yeah, got like, yes. I think it's not, and then it's got that. I keep on seeing those, and I'm not a big fan of them, but I know a lot of people who like some. And then they got that little dark dot on them. Yeah, they I literally like just animals. got a box today. Oh, that's right. Because yes. someone's talking about like toffee. Do you have them there? I do, yeah. I went to my uncle's today and we did like an early gift exchange and that was one of the things that I got. Can I see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Because <laughs> they're talking about your toffee face and they're like little cuffs with the, they look like eyeballs. Okay. Right? Yeah, that's what, that's what toffee face look like. But they just showed me that. Is September important, by the way? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Is what important? September. September. Um, yeah, um, my birthday is in September. Yeah, yeah. You've got a ghost right beside you, honey. Do I really? You do. You have someone with really dark lungs, though, or problems in the chest area. Okay. Yeah, but that's beside you. Who, uh, lives, in, who lives in the old house? The old house. Mm-hmm. Um, an old house. Well, there's a few, uh, I have a few passings that had like quite old houses. Uh, yeah. My great grandmother, her house was pretty old and my papa owned the house beside hers, which was also very old. But someone who's passed away lived in a very old house. Yeah, it would probably be one of them. It could be both of them. Yeah. But they're talking about being around September. And I didn't mention 9, 18, or 27 because I'm not getting that. I'm getting okay. September. And if you got top of face today, it's because they were with you today. Wow. Uh, That's amazing. Uh, yeah. Did somebody get a lip gloss? A lip gloss. Or a mint? Um, like, it tastes like mint. Peppermint? No, I don't think so. No, not, not that sure. I recall. Because I think okay. you're getting that too. Okay. Peppermint. It tastes like peppermint. But they're cool. showing me that and they're smiling. They're showing me a little Christmas tree on it. So it okay. almost looks like a round container with a Christmas tree on it. And then you put your lip gloss on. Okay. I yeah, definitely not, keep an eye on that. Yeah. But it looks like there's a little Christmas tree on it unless it's in a Christmas tree bag. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't eat your top face? No, not yet. I was dipping into some uh, Christmas balls earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah. yeah, you know what? I didn't buy any chocolate at all. I didn't. So no way. Nothing. I didn't. You know what? Someone brought me some like um, uh, some. They make me all kinds of Christmas like peanut butter balls and that. And tomorrow my son's coming. And he's going to eat them all in one sitting. <laughs> so I don't have any at all. So I'm going to Chocolate be is my weakness. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> Me, it's chips. Yeah. Bring it on, yeah. But the thing is, I just don't buy it. Or when Brad eats it, I buy the kind I really hate. So that way I would eat them. Oh, there you go. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. So I've been pretty good, though, lately. And like you said, well, lately I haven't eaten anything. I was eating soup for the first three days. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to get my appetite back. Which That's is, good. Yeah, happy, yeah. Well, I'm really happy if you got your toffee face, but that's specifically what they're showing me. And it has to be within the last two days or so. And okay. if it was, yeah. Did you go somewhere 10 to, 10 to 2 or something? I'm just um, kidding. 10 to 2. Hmm. I think I left my uncle's about 10 to 2 to come back home. Yeah, because they're showing me like 10 to 2 specifically. And I don't okay. Know but yeah, so they went for a ride with you too. Well, and, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because my uncle lives in the building that my late latest grandmother that passed away lived okay. in as well. So. Uh, so that's the old house. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, um, I she know. lived there for a long time. Well, it's just because they're talking about the old house. Who has the old house? And if your uncle's like in that old house, I guess where they were. Yeah, he's across the hall from where she was. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. Wow. You know what I see too is an old lazy boy, you know, recliner. Yep. 
Yeah, and I'm seeing that too, and I don't know why I keep on seeing that. He but, actually <laughs> has her old one in his apartment. Oh, so that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, what color is it? It's like a, a blue color? Um, It's a, like a, I think it's a burgundy. Oh, okay. Uh, my couch is blue and it has two recliners on it. <laughs> yeah, because he visits there too. Because I was going to say, who has the blue recliner? Because like for me, there's a blue one too. Okay, yeah, that could be my couch then. Yeah, but it's a nice blue. And it looks like you could push back and, you know, the foot thing comes up. Yeah, yeah, uh, they do. Yeah, but there's definitely Lazy Boy too. Huh. Wow. I keep on seeing glass fall off the counter. Hmm. It hasn't that, happened. Not that I, I'm aware of. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you know, they didn't talk about broken glass today? Broken glass. Um, yes, or someone broke a glass? No, I don't think so. My son came uh, downstairs after I put him to bed the other night and he was playing in his room and he said he thought he found a little piece of glass, but I think it was a piece of his toy. Yeah, I know. It's, they're showing me a glass falling off a counter. Okay. It almost looks like a wine glass. Or really? some, something like, like with a stem. Okay. That's what it looks like to me. So pay attention next couple of days. I just will definitely. Really just in case. I don't think it's going to hurt anyone, but just. Just watch. Okay. Showing me that, and I don't know why. It can be at your uncle's, but let them know. But let okay. them know they're around because, like, oh, my God. I definitely will. Yeah, yeah. What date in September are you? 26. Oh, you're 26. Yeah. Were you born at 6 a.m.? Um, I believe I was born in the morning. I think it was around 6 or 7, my mom has told me. It looks like 6 a.m. Unless okay. like, she went in to go to have you. It looks like 6 a.m. But anyways, okay. that's, that's what it looks like. It wouldn't be more than five after six. Okay. Just to let you know. Someone's also talking about dying at, I think, I don't know if it's like 20 to 7. Okay. Or, or hang on, or five after one. Hang on, that's wrong. 20 to 7. 10 after 1? 10 after 1. 10 after 1 or 20 to 7. Okay? Okay. Okay. Just do the clock upside down. 20 to 7, the big hand on the, you know what I mean? The yeah. Little hand on the one, and then flip it upside down. I think it's 110. Okay. Because it always show it to me the right way. It's upside okay. down side up yeah and someone needs to quit smoking <laughs> yeah okay. okay okay anyways thank you so much taylor thank you so much i really do appreciate that you're welcome merry christmas sweetie you too thank you have a good night i'm glad to hear you're feeling better i am thank god <laughs> okay you too sweetheart all right bye-bye bye, -bye. Oh, let me go see Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Can you hear me, Lisa? Lisa, can you hear me? She doesn't hear me. Oh, I wish Lisa could hear me. It would be so nice. So sorry, Lisa. Can you hear me? Okay, I brought you up on screen and you weren't hearing me. I'm going to try it one more time. Here we go. Do you hear me? I can hear you, but I'm just not on the screen. You are for me. Okay. Okay, good. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm so happy to hear that. Where are you from, Lisa? Um, Kentucky. Kentucky. I love it out there. Actually, I have a good friend of mine that I think is originally from Kentucky. I know, I think Mel is from Alabama, but I think Kelly Ford is from Kentucky. Okay. <laughs> and, and I love her. She's, uh, she's, she was a radio host uh, when I met her in Colorado and went to New York. Uh -huh. and 
Nashville, and I don't know where she's at. I hadn't talked to her in about a month or so, but she's always such a busy girl. So how are you doing? Are you doing well? Can you hear me, Lisa? You froze. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm so sorry. You can't hear me at all, huh? Okay. Well, I'm going to try you again in a I little bit. I can't hear you. Okay. I'm going to try you again a little bit, Lisa. So, guys, if you wanted to come on, please do. I'd be so happy. I'm going to stay on a little longer. Um, but I have just put the link down here for, you know, to come out here. So, whoops, is that it? So, that is... Actually, I'm going to put it down as, without a crawler, I'm going to put it down as a title. Here we go. So you can check out this link and come and see me. And so I think I talked, did I talk to you, Michelle? I did, yes. And Mel, I did, and Lisa, I can't hear. Um, but I am so happy that you guys are here. I am just celebrating Christmas, nice, quiet in my home which is good. I'm just still recovering from this silly little bug I have, but hopefully, you know, that's about it. Guys, if you want to uh, get a reading, come on online. I'd love to see you live or just come and chat with me. Sometimes I don't feel things. Tonight I was feeling things around a couple of people. So if I'm feeling it, I'm going to tell you. So it's a quiet night tonight, but I kind of like that because you have more of an opportunity to jump on and uh, you know to say hi so that is the link in the meantime guys I am again reminding you that I am selling gift certificates so just to let you know if you're looking to get a gift certificate you certainly go to my website to the shop button there's all kinds of goodies there but gift certificates are open-ended so they can be used pretty well you know um they're, they don't expire, so there you go. It's me that would expire <laughs> before the gift certificate, what I think. Oh, my God. I hate to say that, but it's true. my God. But, guys, as you're coming on, why don't you come and join me live? Come and say hi and, you know, tell me what you're doing and all that kind of stuff. And I would love to do a little something for you. So, yeah, Julia Richards, why did you come and visit me here? You guys have the link. All you need is a Chrome browser and some earbuds. And I'm going to be on for a couple more minutes. So I would love to do that. I don't I don't have my, um, I can't really see the screen all that well. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty trying to read because I can see them as soon as I put them on my screen. But it is difficult to read tonight, so just to let you know, I don't know if it's because of this flu or maybe I'm just getting a little older. Ah. So, guys, as you're coming on, please, if you'd like to join me, I have posted the link down below. Come on down and see Jay. I did copy and paste the link right there, and I'll put it up on the screen. So, there, that's me. And that is the link. So all you need is a Chrome browser and a headset and come and say hi. <laughs> my God. Thank you. Oh my God, you're so sweet, Margie. Oh, are you having a hard time, Lisa, with your oh since your surgery? Oh my goodness. You know, it's so hard sometimes to recover from those things. I remember years ago I had a surgery that you know, really had a lot of complications. I ended up going back into the hospital for, I think, three weeks. And it was just really quite awful. Um, but the thing is, in the long run, once I healed, I felt so much better. So please have some faith. And it's a hard time of the year to be sick as well. So I'm going to tell you, Lisa, you know, just really keep positive as much as you possibly can. Guys, show her the love. Give her some hearts. Uh, but definitely, you know, just be very, very positive throughout this whole thing. Uh, I'm so sorry, Louise. I know everybody has, you know, a little bit of something. But your son's always around you, sweetheart. I don't think there's a day that doesn't go by that he's not around. I don't know if you've had some difficulties around finances or if there's someone around you that's complained about money. But they make me feel a little bit better than so don't worry so much, sweetheart. I hope you're good. 
So let me see. Katie, I can't see you. It's really dark. So Katie's just joined us in the back, but all I see is kind of a ceiling. Oh, no, what is that? Is that a ceiling? It's a chair. Oh, no, she's gone. There you go. So there are some people trying to get on, so keep on trying to get on. I am putting the comment here. There's Katie. I'm going to go snag her. Hi. Hi, Katie. How are you? Tired. <laughs> Tired. Oh, I know. Um, you know. Well, I think that if you can feel any my loved ones around me, please. Where, where are you? Scotland. Oh, you're in Scotland. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for joining me here. Where are both in Scotland, sweetie? Edinburgh. Oh, I love your accent. How freaking cute are you? <laughs> Thank oh, you. God, you're so hard, your eyes would pop out of your head. You're so cute. Now, Katie, can I ask if you have February or, or November? I'm just curious, honey. Yes, I do. Who, who's February or who's November, please? Sorry? What was that? February or November? What would they be? Um, my granny's anniversary day. Uh, okay. Her anniversary? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, okay. And excuse me if I don't understand your accent too much because you have a really deep accent, but it's so pretty, honestly. Oh, okay. But I February or November around you or significance to February, November. And the reason why I say November is because February and November for me are number twos. One plus one is two. Mm -hmm. And if it's not February, November, which I don't think it's two or 11 or 20 or 29, but it could be, but I'm feeling February, November. Now, I don't know, Katie, but I don't know if someone's arguing recently, please. You know, I don't yeah. mean any disrespect, okay? And I always my heart and I always do this out of the kindness of my heart because I love people so much mm -hmm. but I'm hearing some loud arguing and um, I don't know who's been arguing but they make me feel that as a result of that I feel threatened or I feel afraid not for my life but for my future you know what I mean yeah, yeah. so it's, it's almost like I don't know what's gonna happen oh my goodness so I feel like I'm walking on eggshells or yeah. I feel do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Where I feel like I can't really express what I want to because yeah. I'm afraid that if I say yeah. what I'm really feeling, that I'm going to get to the curb. Yeah. Why do I feel like that? Is that you? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness, honey. Okay. You know what? I always tell people the truth sets you free. But the thing is, I don't think you're really saying what's inside of your heart. And the thing is, I think you're so afraid of loss or you're afraid of that change and you're afraid that you're never going to have what you really want. But I think you're wrong. The thing is, I don't know what's going to happen with this, but the arguing really needs to stop. Can I ask a personal question? Yeah. Does somebody drink a little bit too much? Um, drink? As in here now, yeah, like pre in the present. I'm just wondering if someone has either a very elevated temper or if somebody's just because for me, you know, when you drink or you your lowered inhibitions, you tend to like just be more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. But that's how I'm feeling. Like, has someone been yeah. aggressive with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not going to push it any further. It's just what I'm feeling. Because I thought my, my grandfather used to drink, and when he drank, he'd get aggressive. You know, rah, rah, you know? Okay. It's okay. almost scary to see somebody like that because you don't know yeah. if they're control of their emotions or not, you yeah. know? Yeah. So uh -huh. the thing is, I just get that feeling that you're afraid. So now what you need to do is you need to decide for yourself inside of your heart what you really want. And I think what you need to do is take that relationship and do a column of pros and a column of cons. Like, what are the pros of, you know, working this out and doing this? Mm -hmm. And what are the cons in this relationship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing I think you're going to see, Katie, that you're doing a lot more um, for others than you're doing for yourself. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Uh, and yeah. so I 
think your list would be off, but I think that when you really put it down and write and you see the reality of it, I think you're shortchanging yourself. Yeah. Um, could I, sorry, could I ask, do you, I lost my friend last Friday. Um, oh. I lost my best friend last year as well. Um, I've been pretty upset tonight. Um, I live with my granddad. He isn't well. Um, so you got did that somebody, one point. Did, did one of your friends die very quickly? Like very suddenly? Yeah. Because like there's one that's just like quick, you know? But that's my strongest one around you. Okay, how 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 long would you say? Would you say recently? Recently? Or I don't know wait. how long, but it's just a very quick passing. I don't know also if someone feels like responsible for themselves. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I had I had um, a friend of mine who who got like feeling pretty good and went to a party and actually ended up getting into an accident because they weren't really judging what they were doing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, they, yeah. So just there's something like that too coming through. So it's almost like I feel responsible for my own, for my own death, you know? And then I kept on seeing either the number five or, or the month of A or the number five or 14 or 23. Five or 14 or 23. Okay, my my, um, my mom's birthday is in May. Okay. Um, what was the numbers? Five, 23. It's not May. It's five. Mm -hmm. 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, or 23, 23. Five, okay. Um, well, could it be, say, the 14th as well? It can be the 14th yeah, as well. Yeah, my friend, my friend died on the 14th last week, suddenly. Okay, okay. because I'm seeing 5, 14, or 23, if your mom's not past, it's not that. I'm talking about whoever's here it gives me the energy of five. So if it's not May, which is the fifth month, it's the fifth or the 14th or the 23rd. That's here in spirit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the Last, 14th? Oh, yeah. Last I'm so Friday. sorry, sweetie. Now, I'm going to tell you very clearly, you have better things going on than you think coming up. The thing is, I think that sometimes you don't think that's going to happen. And so what was you, that, Sorry? What was that you said there? That's okay. I said that a little bit of a froggy in my throat tonight. <laughs> yeah. It just makes me feel that right now you don't feel as if things are going very well or that your future is not very bright, but I'm going to tell you that's not true. Okay. I feel really good about you, especially in 2019. There's going to be some changes around you that are going to make you grow quite nicely and be a little bit more confident with what you want. But they make me feel that like you have very good things coming. I don't know if you had quit a job or quit school or quit something, but they make me feel that there's something coming which is better for you. So I don't know if you're going to be taking a course or going or changing a job. or I don't know what you're doing, but they just make me feel that next year is going to be better than this year. You know, so they make me feel like a little bit better in terms of relationships. And I don't know, and it could just be that loss that I'm feeling, but I also feel a bit of an argument around you or a discussion that was yeah. fairly well, not that long ago. Mm -hmm. And they make me feel that there needs to be a little bit more open communication, but I think you're afraid. So I think that when we speak really our truth and when we say what's in our heart, we really can't go wrong. And if it's not meant to be, then you can move on at least with saying that, you know, you, you tried the best that you could, you know what I mean? So the thing is, you are the author of your life. And I think a beautiful life coming, but sometimes we don't believe it when we have hardships or emotional hardships around us, you know? Yeah. So I want you to know that things are going to get a little bit better, Katie, and not to worry, but I think you have a lot of visitors around you. I do. And I think they all love you very much. So I want you to be very positive and ask can them you, for help. Can, okay? can, you, 
do you sense um, if I have my granny around me, my grandmother? Well, it's February or November is the first February. period. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if it was February or November. 12. 12 yeah. February. February. And then the next one is either May or 5 or 14 or 23 of any month. Yeah. There's one that I feel was responsible for their own passing. There's one that's quick. That one's not the same. But one that I feel is responsible for themselves somehow. When okay. they've had Sure. 14th last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I feel responsible somehow for my own death. But that's clearly through the light now. Okay. It's not grounded. So I feel good about that spirit. That spirit's around you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you well, so much for joining me from Scotland. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. It's very yeah, happy nice, yeah. days, honey. You so too. So you too. That's okay. Thank you. Bye. Hi, honey. It's really late in Scotland, that I know. I think they're five or six hours ahead. I'm going to go get Pauline, my goodness. Hi, Pauline. Hi. How are you? Good, you? Good, good. I just had Katie on all the way from Scotland. Where are you from? Uh, one of a day. <laughs> Did I ever tell you my one of a day story? No. Can I tell you real quick? Sure. You're going to get mad at me if I say something bad? No, because I just moved. <laughs> okay. No, no, it was really funny. I love one of a take because I love that little river when you drive in town. It's so pretty, you know, when you're driving through. I just love it's picturesque. And the people there are so amazing. But I'm going to tell you, years ago, I worked in North Bay, and I worked for a company called Ken Rock. And um, they were bought out by Seco Rock. But anyways, the guy... Um, Rick, who was my boss at the time, he had never, never been to Sudbury. He was a Torontonian, and he had just moved to North Bay. He was working for Kenrock. And so he had a big meeting with Inco before they became Valet. He had a big, big meeting with them. And uh, so he was driving to Sudbury, and he says, he calls me up. He goes, oh, my God, Jay, I forgot my, my paperwork for my meeting on my desk. And I said, I know, because I didn't want to fax it to Inco without him standing there because it was stuff he wanted to negotiate. And okay. I didn't want to Yeah, so it's like trade secrets, like right you now. So he says, oh, my God, he says, I'm at a gas station, but they have a fax machine here. And he they agreed to let me use it. And he says, here's the number. Could you please fax it? And I said, yeah. So I took the information. I said, where are you, by the way? He goes, I'm in the hang on. He goes, he goes, oh, I'm in what a pity. I go, where? <laughs> what a pity. I said, oh, I said, I think you mean what a pity. And he goes, no, he goes, I think I mean what a pity. <laughs> but ever since then, that's what I, and I don't mean to call it that because I love everybody there. So I don't want people like throwing darts at me right now. But anyways, but I'm glad you're living there. It's beautiful. And I have friends there, so I love it there. But anyway, so are you all ready, Polly? Yes, I am. Yeah? Do you have August around you, by the way? August? Uh, yeah. uh, oh, August, August, August. I got to think. <laughs> 26? 26. Mm, not that I'm aware of. Oh my God, I keep on seeing that. August 26. No, nope. August or the 8th of any month? The 17th, because 1 plus 7 is 8. The 8th, I've got. Uh, uh, who's on the 8th? Uh, my my, uh, my twin granddaughters, March 8th. Okay, so you do have 8. Because they're talking about 8, 17, or 26, or August, because it's one or the other. Oh, it could be one and the same, you know? What month are they? March. Oh, ever nice, ever nice. Um, do you have July, too? Uh, that was uh, uh, my father's birthday, and it was my uh, parents' anniversary also at the same time. Yeah. And, is there and my daughter. <laughs> okay. In November too? 
November. Uh, my sister, I have a sister that's in November, and I have a granddaughter that's in November. Is there someone on the 16th or the 25th? The 17th of Who's November. Oh, because you do. Because I asked you a while ago if you had 8, 17, or 26. So who's oh, on the 17th? My sister. Oh, of November? Yeah. Okay. Good. Hang on. No February? Yeah. Uh, another one of my sister, February 27th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is there someone that died at Christmas time? Uh, I had some, yeah, I had some relatives die at Christmas time. Yeah, because that's who's around you. And uh, an uncle at, at an uncle uh, last year. Is it on the 27th? Oh, I forget. It goes by so fast. <laughs> I know it was really close to uh, the holidays. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's around you pretty clearly. And who's Roger? Roger is a, uh, a cousin of mine whose father passed away at around this time. Okay, so that's him too. Okay, because they're talking about Roger. Then Roger could still be here, but there's a Roger connection. Roger. Okay, yeah. In French, Roger. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there a nun around you too, Clotilde or something? Uh, I have uh, uh, two two of my sis uh, my father's uh, sisters are nuns and they've yeah. both passed away Madeleine and uh, um, that's it. That's it. Oh. That is. oh my god I'm that's blank I draw a blank Blanche what is it, her name? Blanche c'est qui Claudine Claudine Clotilde or Claudette or Clotilde, I thought maybe. Nan Clotilde or something. Someone's Ooh. talking about Clotilde, I think it is. That's an old name, but yeah. I'm hearing it. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm having a recall now. No, but, I know you, you, you're, you're just coming back from a cold. You can, we, you, I can uh, hear that. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had proof actually. Oh my, wow. No, you don't cough though with it that much. It's just all in the throat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in yeah. the bronchial, you know. But I feel much better. I had to take a steroid buffer to make me, to get all the swelling down because it wasn't going down. But okay. I feel so much better. Um, but yeah, that's, that's around you because I got your dad. I got like a nun or I don't know how many, but I definitely see one nun. Then I hear Clotilde or Clarisse or Claro, but it's um it's an old name. I'm hearing that. Mm. Okay. There's someone that has a missing leg too that's coming around. So I don't know who the hell that is, but had sugar problems or circulation problems or something. And uh, I don't know if they had their toes cut off or their foot cut off and then their leg cut off. Because they make me feel they had two Oh, surgeries. you know what? The, 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 uh, I have a aunt that uh, has both of her legs cut off. And it started okay. with toes, but she's still living. Yeah. Okay. Her her husband dead? Yes. Then that's him talking. Because the thing is, it started with toes or foot or something. Then they had two surgeries or something. But the, definitely the, the legs cut off. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's his name? I can't get it. Réjean. Oh, wow. That's my brother's name. I should have figured that out. What's her name? Hel Helen. Oh, okay. Helen. Um, you see Paulette aussi? Uh, uh, Paulette? Pauline? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Paulette? Is Paulette or Patricia? Or, um... Claudette? No. no. I talked about Claudette a while ago, but I'm not feeling that now. Oh, okay. Do you have any Pauls? Uh, cousin. A Paul. No. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, I don't know if someone had just a really shitty meal the last couple of days, but someone's laughing. 
Has it ever shown you ate something and you did not like it? <laughs> I'm always eating something that I don't like. <laughs> but you just, like I don't know, the last two days especially, I was like, what the hell is this? So I almost feel like I ate something that I, I really didn't want to eat, but I was hungry, so I ate it anyways. But they make me feel you should enjoy your food a little bit more. I don't know. I keep on seeing that um, cranberry cranberry ginger ale or um, like a, you know it's like red pop and I don't know why they're showing me that but they're showing me that oh, so, okay did somebody buy that red pop I, uh, uh, I had some I got rid of it <laughs> I didn't really? like it okay just it wasn't that long ago anyways but they're talking about like ginger ale that looks like cranberry or red ginger ale like it looks like it's it, it doesn't yeah. look like cream soda you know what i mean so that's what it looks like anyways but they're talking about that and i don't know if you need new glasses but they're talking about getting new glasses or having to go to the optometrist for an eye checkup but someone's gotta go okay. um either that or someone's getting a cataract in one eye because I can barely see where I'm having trouble out of one eye. So you might hear about that, but it's not a big deal. Okay. 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 Yeah. But anyways, ah. your family is here, especially the nun and, and your dad. Those two. Oh, nuns. yes. Mm -hmm. But they're together. Yeah, and they were close when they were uh, growing up. Uh, but they're, they're close. Gym. Yeah. Oh, very close. Like there's uh, they're having fun. Oh. Someone fished a lot too. Mm -hmm. Lots of fishing. So I don't know who that would be, but, and I don't think it's from out east or anything like that. They just show me someone fishing. Lots of fishing. Catfish, walleye, trout. I have seen like fishing. My father in law? Um, I don't know. But there's someone that's talking about fishing a lot. So they must have fished an awful lot. My dad yeah, liked he... fishing, but it wasn't like a – my dad, though, hunting, forget it. My dad loved to hunt, you know. Mm -hmm. But fishing, he'd go do the spells once in a while. He'd go, like – but my dad wasn't, like, a big fisherman. My brother, my brother loves to fish. He'd be out there every freaking day, you know. But my uh -huh. dad loved to fish. Yeah. But someone's talking about fishing. And like, I don't just think that we had trophy fish or, or even um, had big stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's not trophy fish, it's big stories. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like my grandson. I caught a fish this big. No, it was more like like more like this big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cute, eh? Did, yeah. someone get, did someone get a porch added onto a house or something? A porch added on to a house. Or a covered deck? I'm just curious. Was there an addition to a house? Uh, let me think, let me think. Let me think. To the backyard. If there's an addition, it would be to the back of the house, not the front. Okay. Well, it's not really a porch like uh, uh, my daughter sort of had to redo her back back uh, deck yeah. because uh, of the wind what's that it's covered is it, is it covered yeah yeah I mean, anyways someone goes to visit her a lot so your dad must be going there but she's got good news if that's her because they talk about it being at the backyard not in the front and it looks like it's covered like uh I thought it was a porch or a deck that's covered, but it's got to be covered. Eh? Like, I have a deck outside that's not covered. Like, it's totally mm -hmm. open. Yeah. Well, she just put also a, 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 an enclosure because she got three chickens. <laughs> she got what? She got three chickens, so she just put an enclosure for her chickens mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. back. That's hilarious. So that's why they're talking about that. So they know what she's up to. Because that theory of the pointing out to is that where she put the chickens? Yeah, at the back. Yeah, okay, I understand. Hmm. Yeah, did somebody talk about getting business cards made? I'm curious. 
Business cards. Mm. Yes, did someone a card and they didn't have any because they read it out? Mm. Pay attention to that. Yeah, okay. Just the next couple weeks. All right? Okay. Okay. Or getting information, they don't have it on them. If it's yeah. not a business card, they don't have their phone number. You know what? Some people don't know their phone numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I have to check my phone when I give my phone number. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, it was nice talking to you, sweetheart. You too. Have a great Christmas. Enjoy your family and I friends. Love. Yeah, I'm. you know what? I'm taking it easy this Christmas. I'm sticking around. But it's going to be nice. I'm anxious to see my clients that I had to cancel last week. But I'm really anxious oh. to see them now. Yeah. But anyway, oh, yeah. Sam. I'll have the house full. I'll have the house full. The girls are coming down uh, uh, tomorrow. So oh, uh, good for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just taking it easy. And like I said, my son's coming. It's going to be nice. I got my sister. I'm going to see my brothers. So I'm, I'm excited to see everybody. So, but anyways, you take nice. care. Merry Christmas, sweetie. You too. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Bye, Penny. <laughs> I'm going to go get one more lady. I'm going to go get Sylvie. Hi, Sylvie. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Merry Christmas to you. And you too. Where are you, sweetie? Espanola. You're in Espanola. I love it out there. I'm going to be out in Blind River soon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And February 9th, I'm going to be at Rusty's Cafe. I'm doing an afternoon there. And I'm oh, yeah. really about it yeah they're selling tickets at Rusty's so it's okay. gonna be uh, it's gonna be lots of fun but I love Espinal I've been out there a couple times and yes. I love the people out there yeah it's awesome my son yeah. works out there oh yeah uh, yeah he does he works full-time out in Espo so yeah uh, I told him I said you can move out there he goes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so I said why not he goes because my girlfriend won't move he said <laughs> I want to say where the stores are. Yeah. No, no, I'm just joking. She's a real sweetheart, actually. So, what have you been up to, honey? Oh, not too much. Just um, mm -hmm. trying to enjoy uh, life with my grandkids and my kids. And I've retired. And nice. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Any teachers around you? Teachers? No. Yeah. Did anyone live close to a school? Um, I keep on oh, seeing my, my, one of my son does, yeah. Okay, because like they keep on seeing a school, so if there's no school teacher, it's got to be someone living close to a school. What's his name? Aaron. Oh, ever nice. Is there January or is there October around you? Or October. The first? October's and my then, birthday. That's you, eh? Yeah. I'm just gonna ask one more question. The first, the tenth the 19th or the 28th um, any month the first anything? september the september 1st was me and my husband's wedding date and my daughter's wedding date okay cuz someone's talking about the first or the 10th or the 19th or the 28th okay and 19 for me would be september 1st to the 19th you know yeah. i had to back, back make it backwards but someone's talking about that January connection. January is my daughter. And yeah, October. and October. Yeah, and October. October is my birthday. Yeah. And I don't know if there's February or November, but they're also talking about that too. Or 2, 11, 20, or 29. So I, have a couple, I have a couple of grandkids in February. Okay, so that's it. But anyways... There's somebody that makes me feel there was something wrong with the heart. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, I get chest pains just thinking about it. So, I don't know if they had, like, a pre-existing heart condition. Uh, or, like, heart disease or took medication. Well, my, or... my dad had a bypass surgery a long yeah. time ago. But yes. he passed away uh, with uh, lung cancer. Yeah. But the thing is, for me, there's definitely someone here that, like, had heart condition of some kind. Like, my dad had open heart surgery, too. My dad died of heart. But the thing is, they do make me feel like the chest is illuminated, okay? Yeah. 
but definitely there was a heart condition with this person at one point, it has to be, okay? So if your dad had open heart surgery, but he died of lung cancer, I'm okay with that. That's who I think is here. Because like for me, if you're January or October and you've got the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th, is he connected to the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th? Uh, his birthday's in June. Uh, whichever month was Father's Day. It, his birthday falls uh, like June. That's June. Okay. Father's so it falls like the day after or something like that. Okay. Twenty. I think it's the twenty fifth. Do, do you know? Um, one ten nineteen September first to the nineteenth twenty eighth would be February second to the twenty eighth or August second to the twenty eighth. But I don't know. But anyways, the chest is illuminated. When did he pass? When did he pass? He passed away um, in 2010. It was March 25th. Oh, you know what? 10 maybe. Just the 10. Because 1, 10, 19, or 28. It's just because they make me feel there's a one connection. And it could just be because you're January or October. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Anyways, that's your strongest spirit there. Okay? But mm -hmm. had to have had a heart problem. Mm -hmm. Or took pills for it. Or had something wrong with heart at one point. Or yeah. suffered with heart at one point. It's got to be. Okay. Um, now, I don't know if someone had a brain tumor. Uh, not, in my, not in my uh, family, no. No, no. Um, if not a brain tumor, it could be an aneurysm. But if it's a stroke, it's a stroke that took them. But the thing is, it gets something wrong with the head. And I don't really think it's Alzheimer's or dementia, even if you had someone like that passed like that. But someone's showing me something, and it's already happened, so I don't want you thinking the worst. Um, but someone's showing me something like that. So that can be to a husband's side, but that's really strong. Yeah. And it's well, like, my husband passed away of asthma attack, and okay. they figured he had a heart attack with it. Um, okay. Well, it could even be your husband talking to me too. When, and is he connected to the your uh, the first, the tenth, the nineteenth, or the twentieth? We were we were married September first. Yeah. Okay. So that could be him too. But um, definitely, I have somebody coming through, even if that's on a husband's side, with brain or something wrong with the head. And if it's not a brain tumor, because I'm not getting Alzheimer's or dementia, even if someone's passed like that, it's not what I'm getting. What I'm getting is like either a brain tumor or um, aneurysm or a stroke. But it's not a stroke where you recover and then you have another stroke. Another. This is like a freaking stroke that took that person. It's like deadly. You know, mm -hmm. poof. It's just because, and I don't think it's a hit to the head. And I don't think it's because I fell to the floor. Yeah. It's like they made me feel there was something wrong with the head. So just to let you know. And this could be from years and years ago, but that's really clear. So just maybe ask around. Okay? Yeah. 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 Anyways, they do make me feel a little bit of change around you. I don't know if someone's moving around you significantly or there's some change around residents within the next like six, eight months. Um, but they make me feel pretty happy about that. So I don't know who it is in your family, but it's close knit or someone close. But they make me feel like really good news around that. Well, so my, daughter, my daughter moved uh, to the next town. They bought okay. a house. Just recently? Uh, yeah, in September. Okay. It could even be that because that's not really that far away because it's usually the last six months, next six months kind of thing. But they make me feel really excited about that. There's good things going on there. Oh, yeah, like, there is. No, really good things. Yeah. Um, so, like, great improvements, great improvements. And they just make me feel like the time has come, you know. So <laughs> this is a really good thing. So getting just rewards, that kind of thing. So I feel really, like, positive about that, you know. Mm. So just to let you know that. But um, anyways, I would think your husband's around. I would think um, that, you know, the, the, your dad. Um, there's and there, definitely someone with the head. There's definitely something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if May is important also, but I kept on, or the letter E, like, you know, fifth letter of the alphabet, or 5, 14, or 23 for you as well. But I'm getting that too, and I have no clue why, but I, I'm going to mention it. Um, someone keeps on showing me popsicles, like banana popsicles and chocolate popsicles. 
and I don't know why. I always think of like tonsil problems, but because the only time I used to get freaking popsicles is if I was sick when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah, but and we, I used to love the chocolate and the banana one too. But I, I love yeah. popsicles. Um, but someone showed me that, so I don't know if it's like something to do with tonsils or a sore throat. I don't know. But they keep on showing me that. But they're smiling, so which means not that bad. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I'm making. Anyways, you're a really good girl, but you do a little bit Thank too you. much. All right. Okay. So and I know, I know that you say you're you're enjoying stuff and this and that, but you're doing a little too much. So you just need a little bit of a break. I don't know if you've had trouble sleeping the last couple of days, um, uh, but you can. Yeah, yeah I just I have sleepless nights. Yeah, but they make me feel like you have more rest coming up, so I feel pretty good about you, you know? So I, I almost feel like a really good night's sleep coming up for you real soon, so I'm really happy about that. Um, there's news that you're not too happy about, but the thing is you've got to think about it could be worse. It could be worse, but they don't make me feel it's like so terrible that you're going to go into depression. It's just you're not liking what you hear about someone or something. Um, but you know what? Shit happens. You just think positively about the situation. Maybe there's a reason for it, but it almost makes me feel it's already started, you know? Something's yeah. going on, not too entirely happy about, but it's going to turn up for the best, K, okay, hon? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, darling. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I want to wish you a happy, happy Christmas. And you too. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Okay. Take care, sweetie. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, -bye. Bye. you guys are so amazing. Oh, my God. But I am going to go and rest this throat because I'm telling you, I sound like a frog. And I decided just to take people, um, you know, coming into the guest room. But I will be on again very soon. I don't know if I'm going to be on Tuesday because I think that's Christmas Day. Um, but I will definitely be on. I'm really, really happy to see you guys. Maybe Boxing Day will come here. That probably is a good time, uh, you know, to, to come on after everybody's celebrated holidays. But I want to wish you all the greatest holiday season. I want to extend a great big hug to Lise, uh, who lost her daughter, Janica, this morning. Uh, Janica um, was from Sudbury. I don't know if you guys know very much about her, but um, she had won a fight against breast cancer. Um, and unfortunately came back and she passed away this morning. She was 28 years old. And so I want you guys to please send some love to that family. And um, I want to extend, extend my condolences out to that family. And I send my love out to you. It's so difficult to lose a child, especially at this time. And, you know, she was only 28 years old, but I want to, you know, send my condolences to everybody out there who's suffering a loss this evening. And just to let you know that um, they're always around us. And I want to thank you so much for spending some time here. I've been on a little longer than normal, but I um, really enjoyed myself here this evening. I'm going to go shut up now. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so much. And happy holidays. Take care, everyone. Good night.